today we're gonna do part one of my Hawaii Hermes haul unboxing. These are all purchases that I was already planning to buy, but part two were things that I did not plan to buy and that was offered to me and they were so special that I feel like they needed to have its own dedicated video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. So these are the things that I wanted to unbox today and I also wanted to just take a minute to talk about my shopping experience in Hawaii. This is the first time that I've shopped in an Elmes store outside of my home boutique so of course I didn't know what to expect I never went to that store in fact the last time that I have traveled was over three years ago you guys know Mel in Melbourne hi babe if you're watching her essay at Elmez um, Waikiki is Joyo I also shopped with him and he was really really friendly and had lots of stories to share and so I had a great time me and my husband went together and um, yeah, it was just really nice to meet him. So hi Joyo if you're watching. Unlikely, but hi if you're watching. And so yes, these are things that I had already planned on buying because these are things that I wanted to buy here locally in Vancouver, but uh, they didn't have my size or color. And so I was already looking for these things. If you've never been to the Waikiki Hermes store and you are a big Hermes fan, I highly recommend that store. I think well, compared to my own local store, and since we only have one store here, that store was so much bigger. If you guys want to shop with Joyo, feel free to do so as well. I will leave his name down below as well as the uh, store number. You guys can just call and see if you can make an appointment with him. I think I had maybe like six items on my wish list. Uh, and like I said, most of them were ready to wear. There was one piece of jewelry and um, I got not all of them, but a few of them. So I'll make sure to unbox everything, try on everything, talk you through the thought process. And so, yeah, that will be really, really fun. But first, I want to thank today's video sponsor. If you're looking for gift ideas, you can maybe consider Lily Silk because they make everything from clothing to cashmere to pillowcases, everything surrounding silk and wool and cashmere, which is so amazing. But of course, as the name suggests, they basically specialize in silk. This is Mel and Melbourne's most recent collaboration and it's such a pretty blouse. I actually wore this as a beach jacket in Hawaii, which was perfect. It was a little windy, so this was the perfect little jacket. But of course, as you can see, it's a really beautiful blouse. You can definitely dress it up. It was meant to be that way, but I just dressed it down and it's so versatile. I chose this color especially because I thought it was a really beautiful yellow. It's sort of that ginger yellow that is so forgiving. It's not too bright and it's not too dark and pairs very well with jeans or a trouser. Love the shoulder detail here. It's very feminine. It's got a few pleats here as well. The buttons are all covered in the same silk material. So this trouser I got last time, but I just want to talk about it because obviously I love this trouser so much that I also got it in their white color as well. So now I have both their black and their white. It's called the Heavy Crepe Silk Irish Trouser and it has this beautiful flow. I love this pleat in the front. Also on the back side, which you can really see very clearly on this white version, it has this little notch there. I took it in a size 27. Admittedly, I should have maybe taken it in a size 26 for a tighter fit, but sometimes I do like my pants to be a little loose depending on what kind of cut it is. This is more of a loose cut, so if I did get it in size 26, it will probably fit me better. But I don't mind that it is a bit more flowy and slightly bigger than my waist because I can always cinch it in with my belt. Next, we have this beautiful romantic blouse here in the lily white color. So it's slightly more cream color than your typical white tie in front here, which you can tie, of course, but you can also leave completely alone and just drape it. And it's got these beautiful um, frilly ruffles on the neck area as well as on the sleeve area which gives this blouse a very romantic Victorian sort of feel. I always take all my silk blouses in their extra small size 
and it's true to size to me. Like I said earlier, their main products are silk based, which has so many great benefits. I'm sure you've heard it a thousand times. It's great for your hair, it's great for your skin, it's breathable, it keeps you warm, and it keeps you cool at the same time depending on the need. They go to great lengths to make sure that they are certified with the highest uh, clean and toxin free material. Anyway, if you're interested to know more, you can read the links that I'm going to put down below in the description. Up next, I have this beautiful wool blazer slash wrap because it's it's almost like a jacket but you can also wear it as a top you can just tie it around your waist as you all know we are pretty much in the winter season we've already got a lot of snow by now these kinds of jackets or cardigans are perfect for just throw on top of whatever you're already wearing on a really cold day you can wear this open or closed there's just so many ways and this is a really nice thick wool material and it's very very soft especially for the holiday season you can definitely eat they're a little bit oversized um, for these or their wool materials the smallest size is a s so i took all of these in their small size but it's perfect because like i said in the winter i can layer as well if i needed to two more sweaters and they are pretty much identical style but just a different print so we've got a black and white stripe very very classic and these two are in their cashmere material the only thing that i hate about winter though is static and i don't know how to get around that because i have very dry skin and i don't know if it's the air and my dry skin so if you guys have any tricks to get rid of static please let me know because i've tried so many things and i don't know i think i just have extra extra dry skin and of course the environment is so dry that i feel like nothing works so let me know if you have any more tricks than i already do i will have all of them linked down below in the description box of course you can also use my coupon code amyc12 to save 12 percent at checkout and it applies to everything on the website not just the stuff that i've shown you find that perfect silk blouse for yourself or for a family member you can buy their pillowcases i only sleep in pillowcases that are made of silk now i even have to bring my own pillowcase when i travel which i did I had to bring my silk pillowcase to Hawaii because I don't sleep on anything else. It's just much better for your skin, much better for your health. They're easy to maintain, easy to wash. I think we'll go for the bigger box first. So this is a very special box because it's actually a foldable box, which I tried my best to bring back, but I still kind of mangled it a little bit, as you can see over here. But regardless, it still survived and I was still able to keep such a big box in my luggage and yes, I only brought a carry-on by the way. I will make a dedicated video on all the essentials and what I packed to my Hawaii trip because I think not only is it a really good guide for myself to rewatch and to repack the same things next time I go back because literally I fit my entire life for a whole week in a carry-on in the middle of a winter season which is so hard to do so I will share my tips and tricks on that video so stay tuned for that but in the meantime let's go ahead and unbox this first box which like I said um First of all, like they just do the best bows at Hermes. Like I don't know how they do that. Um, of course, I've had to redo it, but like this took me forever. <laughs> um, and also, Joyo was very thoughtful. He knew that I was not from there. I was traveling, so he gave me a foldable box. Like I said, I had a wish list of six, five, six items, and you already saw the first item here on top is this beautiful beautiful sweatshirt i visited my store a few times this past few months and i never saw it on the floor and when i did finally ask about it i was told that we only had pink left very limited size and it was already sold out anyway so i was able to pick up this very very nice sweatshirt um, yes, a very, very fancy price sweatshirt, I will admit, but I've already worn it a couple times and I love it because, like I said, in the winter times, I only live basically in wool sweaters and in sweatshirts. 
Wool sweaters are a little bit more fancy, like they can be a bit more dressy. Sweatshirts, not so much. But I will say with this sweatshirt, I think it's a little bit fancier. I wear sweatshirts all winter long. It's for those days that I don't ever want to think about what to wear, but I still want to be comfortable and warm. Um, I can easily throw on a scarf on this and make it look kind of okay. But if I'm just spending time over at family's house, honestly, sweatshirts are fine. And this is sort of that nice, fancier sweatshirt. So I was looking for that for a while and finally got it. And we've got one more item here. This, I knew that it was part of the newest spring summer collection. And when I arrived in uh, Hawaii, it literally just launched and it, um, I saw it the first time on their website on the States as well. So this is the style code, which at the time of filming this, it's still not in the Canadian site. Although I have, I, I mean, I kind of saw it when I came back, I saw it in our store that they had it. So um, it's possible that you'll be able to find it. Uh, but just sizes are a little bit limited sometimes. So this is the top and I really like it because it's really simple. And these are the kinds of tops that are just so classic and easy to wear with anything. Jeans, uh, I think it will tuck in so, so well in that white trouser. It will be so elegant, effortless, and just such a comfortable outfit. This is a cashmere top, but I think it's also part cotton, which is why it's so comfortable. And yeah, it's 64% cashmere, 36% cotton. Unfortunately, only dry clean, of course. But um, it's such a beautiful, beautiful top. It's got like a little metal logo here. It says Hermès Paris. Really, really nice. It's a short sleeve, which means that it's a little bit more versatile. I can still wear it in the winter, of course. Add a scarf to add a bit more warmth. But even in the fall season and the spring season, it's still very suitable. So I love that about it. And I love this color. I actually tried a couple other colors. They had a navy and they had kind of like an orange peachy color. This color matches the best with my skin tone and the rest of my wardrobe. So, uh, and here you go. That's the sweatshirt in size 34. So yeah, how nice is this? This is a totally collapsible box. There you go. It's totally collapsed now and you just put it in your luggage like this. So it's super travel friendly. You guys know me and my scarves. I literally only wore scarves in in Hawaii, if I could, I would just wear scarf tops all the time. But of course, sometimes I didn't want to be bareback. So um, I still had a couple of outfits where it was actual real tops. But aside from that, I'm a big, big fan of their scarves. And of course, I had to take a look at what scarves they had that we might not have here. And so I saw this and I was like, mm, I don't know if I've seen this here, but it's possible that we do have this here. But I still got it anyway because it was nice. It was right there. And it was um, a little bit different from the usual. And, um, you know, I think anywhere I go now, I will always at least check out the scarves because they might have different patterns that you don't get in your local store. Sometimes they're just sold out. So this is the one that I got. Do you see how flowy and how like how like soft and drapey this is because this is their wash scarf which means that this scarf has been pre-washed and treated um, by their artisans and apparently each and every one of them will be slightly different dimensions even because they are they are basically hand washed already and because of that property of 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 this scarf you can also hand wash it versus all the other ones that i have are only dry clean so that's the beauty of it. So this scarf is totally hand washable. And does it say it here? It does. So here you guys. So here guys, on the label, it even says that you can wash it in cold water, 30 degrees. And um, huh. it looks like you can even tumble dry it. Although I think I'll just line dry but 
according to the symbol, you can tumble dry, which is interesting, right? So that's um, that's the special property about this scarf is that it's a wash scarf. And I, like I said, I don't know if I've seen a wash scarf here. Apparently they are kind of rare. Uh, I'm sure they, they do have it once in a while, but I just don't know if I've seen it and I've never really asked. And this one is this model. So if you're interested and yeah, this is just a nice, super classic, repeatable pattern. Very easy to sort of pair with anything. And yeah, let me just throw it around like this. Yeah, as you can see, so easy, right? Like, even went with yellow, <laughs> even goes with my yellow top. So I, you see how soft it is compared to the other scarves, which are a lot thicker and a lot, how should I say, a bit more rigid, which I love, of course, I love, but like this is just a different type and it's just so much easier to tie. It doesn't have as much resistance and it feels soft, like it feels soft to the touch because it's a different type of silk. It's their wash wash scarf like I said it's a wash silk so it's so pretty oh my gosh it looks even so good with this top I wasn't expecting that it's really nice wow it's really pretty so yeah it's even got a lot of yellow actually I just realized that so it's perfect 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 there you have it that was part one of my Hermes haul like I said stay tuned for part two let me know if you have more questions about shopping in Hawaii um, like I said, this is my first time shopping there, so it's not like I have a ton of experience. Plus, I was only there for seven days, and out of the seven days, my essay was off for like almost four days because there was one day where they had like a half day off. They had to close early, so, you know, I didn't have a ton of opportunity to visit the store. I still visited twice anyway, but um, in any case, I'm still glad that I started a shopping history there because I do go to Hawaii in the past anyway I I used to go every year let me know what are your favorites and also don't forget to check out Lily Silk if I could I would wear silk all the time even in Canada it's just that sometimes it's really too cold so I do need wool and I do need my thicker cotton sometimes but otherwise I live in silk I love silk so much so anyway thank you so much for watching have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon bye